We cannot have a conversation about this inaction without turning our attention to the real elephant in the room. Or should I say the 64 elephants in the room? And you know what I'm talking about, Mr. President. It's your cabinet ministers and their deputies. 64 of you, including 28 ministers, 34 deputy ministers, plus the deputy president and yourself. Even after trimming and consolidating ministries, you still preside over one of the biggest, biggest cabinets in the world. A massive jobs for cadres scheme where no one is too corrupt, too lazy, or too useless to land one of these plush jobs. Every energy reform, every measure to unshackle our economy, every intention to support small businesses is going to sink like a ton of bricks the moment you walk in to your first cabinet meeting. Almost no one on your executive would be employable in the private sector. And frankly, you know that some of them should be behind bars. But instead of cleaning out your cabinet, you simply reshuffle the corrupt again and again until every single ministry has the grubby fingerprints of failure all over it. You stand up in Sona and you talk about building a capable state. But you're not prepared to walk away from the very essence of state capture and the incapable state, the policy of cadre deployment. Clearly, Mr. President, you know what I'm saying is true. You know that your cabinet cannot be trusted to get things done. You've effectively admitted that by now setting up a parallel state in your own presidency. Your appointments like Sipo and Korsi, Mavus Mzamang and Daniel Menele to do the job of your cabinet says it all. In a functional democracy, you would have fired most of your cabinet a long time ago. But we all know why you haven't. We've seen the video where without a hint of shame, you tell the room that you would rather be seen as a weak president than split the ANC, because that is not your mission. Your mission is to keep the, uni the ANC united. In other words, you see your job as holding together this ragtag mob of crooks and freeloaders, even if that means the destruction of our country.